Now, I convince you. Delgado is fascinated by Swiss research on electrodes implanted in the brains of living cats. When they stimulated the brain with electricity, the cat's paw moved, like so. It is showing we can change the electrical workings in a living brain. And I think, no, I believe, we can fix people. So it's true, you want to stick wires in a human brain. I offer a choice, lobotomy, chop up the brains with a knife, or a few wires in the brain. No permanent damage. You control how strong is the effect. Turn it off, the effect is gone. Which would you choose? Delgado suspected that mental problems like schizophrenia and epilepsy might be caused by aberrant electrical activity in the brain, not a physical defect. And so what he wanted to do was jolt these disruptions and hopefully reboot the normal organized activity in the brain rather than cut it up with a knife. It takes Delgado several years before he is ready to try his ideas on a human. Delgado was aware that different parts of the brain were involved in different things. So for instance, there's a part of the brain that's involved in controlling the muscles, and the more frontal parts of the brain are involved in thinking and planning skills. What Delgado didn't know was what would happen if you were able to stimulate these parts of the brain with electricity. Keep your hand like this. <laughs> nice. Okay. Now don't move a muscle. Okay. Oh, please, sir. Keep it open. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I guess uh, I guess your electricity is is stronger than my will. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you want to move your arm, an electrical impulse travels from motor cortex eventually to the arm. What Delgado was doing is substituting that natural electrical impulse with a man-made one. And when he did, his subjects had no choice but to move. Delgado begins working with mentally ill patients, violent schizophrenics, normally candidates for lobotomy. Uh, she stabbed several people. It's mostly strangers and the nurse. So you need to be careful. What? Doc, if she does freak out, I mean, she'll rip the wires out, ruin the equipment, maybe even hurt someone. Don't worry. The equipment will be perfectly safe. To address this problem of wires needing to come in and out of the skull, he invented the stimoceiver, which is a radio receiver attached to electrodes in the brain, which he operated with a radio transmitter and a remote control much the same way as one might operate a model aircraft. Okay, so you are going to play for us. Delgado can induce abnormal behavior in a mental patient by radio control. And he can manufacture emotions even more personal than anger. Oh. Hi. God, you're handsome. I... Well, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so handsome in my life. <laughs> just... The woman wasn't naturally attracted. She had had an electrode that was planted into her amygdala, which is this structure here. And it's an important part of our emotional response system. So by electrically stimulating the region, they were able to induce a sexual response in this woman externally. Delgado also produces fear, calmness, even euphoria all at the touch of a button. Though he set out to cure, Delgado's research has produced an unintended side effect. Remote mind control. <laughs> 